Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install SQL Server 2022 SQL Server Management Studio version 20. Both are the latest version on Windows 11 operating system. Both are the latest version at the time of making this video. First, download MySQL Server. Open any browser, then go to Google and search for MS or Microsoft SQL Server download. 2022 download. Click on SQL Server downloads. See here we have the three options SQL Server on Azure, SQL Server at the edge, and SQL Server on on premises. So click on download now to install on Windows 11. Click on it. Then here we have to register. Provide all the details. Once we fill all the details, we have to click on download now. Click on submit. See now we, we have the 64 bit edition and the prerequisites are see go to system requirements see these are the operating system supported supported go back go up now click on this 64 bit edition click on it see evaluation edition downloaded so click on that exe file to install See here we have the these options like basic, custom and download media. So click on the base custom. This will be the location for downloading the SQL Server media. So I am okay with this one. So click on install. Very fast. Now click on install installation, then click on the first one that is new SQL Server standalone installation. See here we have the options like I am selecting evaluation. If you have license, you can select enter license. I don't have license, so if you have license, you have to provide product key. Then click on next. Select the checkbox I accept the license terms and privacy statement. Click on next. Click on next. Okay, all are passed. So click on firewall rule. It is just warning. Okay, so click on next. All prerequisites matched. Now, here we have to select the features. So, I am going with SQL Server Data Engine and Integration Services. Remaining are optional, like replication. It is up to you. If you want, you can select it. And this is the installation root directory. And this is the shared feature directory and shared feature directory x86 okay so if you want to change you have to click on this browse button otherwise click on next see we have the two options like default instance or named instance default for default named instance this is the instance id okay if you want to give the separate name if you want to give the custom name give the select the named instance and provide the name otherwise click on if you are okay with this one click on and this is a SQL Server directory. Okay, so click on next. These are the SQL Server services accounts and collection settings. Startup type is manual for the agent and for database engine automatic. And this is the account name. Okay, so we want to grant volume privileges. Click on next. Select it and click on next. First, here we have to add the admin account. So add the current user as SQL Server admin. See the username is Azure user and this is the PC name. Okay. If you want to add one more user, you have to click on add. These are the data directory information. If you want to change, you have to click on this browse buttons. This is the TempDB information, max DOP, memory, and file stream information. Okay. So I'm not going to change any default settings. Later we can configure them. So click on next. See, this is the summary of the SQL Server. So click on install. We are okay with all the settings. See, installation is in progress. Wait until installation completes. See, 
see your sql server 2022 installation completed successfully with the product updates okay see all the components are successful like database engine service browser writer integration services so click on close click on close go to start all applications scroll down see here we have the microsoft sql server 2020 but we don't have any tool to connect to mysql servers so, so we have to install sql server management studio so go to see the same download window see here we have the download sql server management studio or we can use the azure data studio also so click on download sql server management studio scroll down see here we have the latest sql server management studio version that is 2022 20.2 so click on it see download has been started and its size is 473 megabytes wait until yeah it is completed see download is completed now click on this exe file if you are unable to open it you can go to downloads see here we have the ssms setup application see it is opened here see this will be the installation location if you are okay with this location click on install if you want to change click on change i am not going to change so click on install in meantime download the azure data studio also click on it click on this x86 x64 download click on it see download has been started see we have successfully installed sql server management studio click on close here also azure data studio downloaded okay click on it to install now open sql server management studio start see here we have the recently added service go to all applications scroll down see here new folder is created that is ms sql server tools click on, now click on sql server management studio 20 select the server type so database engine then this is the server name so i have installed sql server on this pc so if you have installed on remote pc you have to provide it then authentication windows authentication if it is sql server you have to select sql server and you have to provide username and password okay i have selected windows authentication then click on connect select encryption as optional then click on connect see we have successfully connected these are the default databases comes with the installation of sql server 2022 to create new database right click on it then select the new database and provide the database name so i am giving database name as r then i am not going to change any other option click on ok see new database is created if you want to run queries you have to click on this new query now verify the version of the sql server select at the rate at the rate version put semicolon at the end and click on this execute button see we have installed sql server 2022 this is the one way to connecting sql server 2022 on windows 11 the other ways i have downloaded the sql server management studio go to downloads directory right click on it run as administrator click on ok select the i accept agreement and click on next see this will be the location to install azure data studio click on it next this is the name so click on next click on next install keep the checkbox that is launch azure register data studio and click on finish close all click on maximize now click on create a connection see ms sql server and server name I'm, i have installed on local server or local pc so i am giving local host or simply open command prompt then give the host name select it and hit enter and provide the host name here then authentication type windows authentication then click on connect the problem here is encrypt optional so click on connect
see we have successfully connected click on if you click on databases see here we have the auto schools you want query window click on new query then select the database now run the queries like if you want to see the host position you the select at the rate at the rate version select it and click on run see this is the version we can create the database also create database r2 admin select it see so it has already created okay so if you go to the drop down see here new database is created even if you go to this admin databases see it is not showing so click on refresh see new database is added we can also verify from here also right click on databases refresh see new database is there so in this video we have seen how to download and install sql server 2022 on windows 11 operating system then we have seen how to connect sql server 2022 by using sql server management studio that is ssms 20 and azure data studio for more sql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you